Bumpers, welcome to a brand new trailer reaction from Hyper RPG. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shitballs. <laughs> 10 years of amazing, amazing anticipation. The time has finally come. Yep. Infinity War yes. is upon us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh right. my God. And We've it's got a, our own it's little a, crew of Avengers here. It's a big old dick fest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Man, 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 man. Oh, man. Oh, That's gross. That's oh, boy. gross. Just nope. kidding. Don't do that. That was not don't the original that. intention, by the way. It's worth no. noting. That was before not anyone in the intention. comments. Don't, don't. Oh, before the comments start going, oh, they playing all dude. No. We were like, where's such and such? They was like, she going to eat. And she going to eat. And she going to eat. So we was like, well, we just be eating. <laughs> <laughs> they have their priorities in <laughs> order. They be hungry. <laughs> they, they, eat. they got their priorities in notice, order, and we clearly don't. You ever notice how women have digestive systems? What's up with, What's that? Up with that? You ever notice when a woman be chewing and then she swallow her food? <laughs> guys, guys are way off the rails. Oh. <laughs> All right, quick All show of hands. Thirty seconds. Quick show of hands, gentlemen, who has not seen this trailer? Raise your hand. Wow. I saw the Comic Con okay. trailer though. Okay. And Naeem, you've seen you you said you saw it, but you don't remember anything. You like you were sleepy? Yeah, I just up. I was, like, oh, I was, was it similar to how you slept earlier at the <laughs> you board? You dreamed it. You dreamed it. He dreamed it, yeah. And then What's this raisin face? <laughs> Cameron, you 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 saw pieces on social Bits media and pieces. Today. I've okay. seen uh the Thanos. I called him the st uh, California raisin on steroid. Yeah, yeah. Uh that's the cool. main villain of this film. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's I've just seen that one image of his okay. face. And on a little it. bit of the Spider-Man, which is the same shot from the San Diego Comic-Con mm -hmm. of the uh, arm hair. The yeah. spider okay. sense. Which okay. the so, Comic Con footage Adam saw, but this is different. This is not yeah, that. You saw it footage. also, right? Uh, man, look, I got a uh, hell of a lot of text messages at seven this morning. So literally mm -hmm. text messages, you need to go watch this. You need to go watch this. And for everybody who texted me, kiss my ass. I was sleeping good. Because <laughs> <laughs> it came out at four in the morning. It did you come out at four in the morning. It's like, I'm sleeping good. Yeah. And everybody like, you did, I'm like, I don't need to, ain't nobody died. I don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like, could hit play when I, I wake if up. If somebody was done, I'd probably tell him, fuck you, die in a couple of hours. <laughs> like, don't die now. Can you hold off on your dying, please? Hold off on your dying, I'm still sleeping. I'm in the middle of a good ass dream, and now you want to talk about my dream. Talking about Avengers. Okay, that's a dream to see, which I'll see later, but goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're all super, super excited about this. Yeah, we were talking about yeah. yesterday, we're planning some stuff for Avengers, and it's crazy to think about mm -hmm. that by the time we get to this movie, th we'll have, I think, 18 movies? <laughs> 18 wow. movies. Yeah. And that also yeah. doesn't include, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., all the one-shots. Agent the Carter. Agent Carter, the exactly. Netflix, Marvel, the Defender shows. Dick hey, Punisher. don't forget the Inhumans. So much. Yeah. <laughs> so much they good stuff. They were in the <laughs> Good stuff. You say you're going to be Inhumans, right? That that eight-part abortion. <laughs> what? The what? The, oh. That eight-part abortion the series? But oh. I, I think like I think this is such a testament to what Marvel has done, what Kevin Feige has created, John Favreau, all the directors who have come in and kind of left their mark in this universe. And this, Kevin to me, Feige feels very earned. Yeah, well, 18, 18 movies to get to. You're them. you're right. It, it does feel very earned, but at the same time, it has such a high bar to cross. Huge. Like the, Thanos cannot disappoint in any way, shape, or form. This needs to be the movie where Marvel shows that they can write a villain, and they haven't really given me the confidence that they can write a villain yeah. recently. Well, we've so, also had a year too of like very different kinds of Marvel movies. Like yeah, Spider-Man: Homecoming yeah. is not like Guardians, which is not right. like Thor, right. which is a good thing. Yeah. Um. So now we are kind of, and now we've seen the team up movie twice now, right, and we've right. seen Captain America: Civil War. Mm -hmm. So like the novelty of all the all these characters are on screen together is yeah. now not the the thing. Right. So right, right, right. There is that kind of like, what is this going to bring? And the, not even cynically, but it's like, okay, what's the next thing? Mm -hmm. Kind yeah. of an idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everybody be, dies. Isn't this supposed to be the finale, or is it four? Four. Four. I think four, it's four. Yeah. I think yeah. This this because originally they were supposed to be part one and part right. two. And they sort of, they didn't abandon that, but I think they took a different direction and they said, well, they are kind of, generally they're the same story or, or continuation, but we want to treat them both as very individual movies and not make it feel like, you know, it has to be part one and part two, but they can sense. kind of be self-contained. Okay. Matt, any thoughts? Matt? <laughs> Yo, I'm fired up, dude. I just remember, like, look, 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 10 years ago, I was a freaking baby, dude. I was so small. And I remember seeing Iron Man 1 and I was like, it was it blew my freaking yeah, mind. How, how old would you have been ten years ago? I was five. A, I, I was a, <laughs> I was not five. I was not five. I was a freaking uh, baby. I was in high curfew. school. I was in high school, uh, and it was it just really changed our life, man. Like it it started everything, and to see how far we've come, and seeing what how how uh how like 
they they continuously uh, push the boundaries with like reality. Like they they yeah. start so grounded. <laughs> you know, I, mean I don't know that, what's real anymore. What I, mean, like, what I mean by that is that like they start off very grounded. Are we living in a David Lynch world? In reality, uh, and they, they ease their way into like all these like fantastical and like mythical kind of stuff. It's it's amazing to see like how much further can they push that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm, I'm excited. I, what you mean. I think yeah, you know what I, mean? I, I think what's cool about these movies is when when the end of Iron Man one happens and you see Nick Fury walk out of the sh- shadows and he goes, "I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger- Avengers Initiative." <laughs> I was one of those people who was like, "What? What is this?" Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know exactly what it was because I wasn't really up on Marvel. You know, I was a DC guy, but then to have 18 movies sort of educate me yeah. on what this universe potentially can be is mm-hmm. pretty amazing. <laughs> I was my like, nipples got hard when I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> my, I was like, seconded. I was like, what? What? Oh my God! And then the Incredible Hulk, and then it, you know my, he put that uh, super soldier serum on ice for a reason. I'm here to talk to you about the Avengers. We're putting a team together. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> and, you know it was like, oh, and then and then it all fully came together. And Captain America at the very end was like, he's like, I got a lot of things to tell you. You're like, oh my God, this is real. Yep. This is so yep. real. Yeah. You know, I was the guy in the happening. theater when the first Iron Man came out. That was with my group of friends. That they were like, what's the Avengers? And they're like. Okay. <laughs> right, right. okay. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Listen, <laughs> in 2018, you're gonna see a film. Yeah, that was that was I definitely think that's me. the biggest question. Did any of us ever think it would get no. to the point where in 2018, no, nope. starting in 2008, that we would hit 2018 where we're about to be and we're about to get this big culmination of films? Did anybody never ever think never that was no? Right? I, never and even, I never I never even thought in 2014 when they actually announced these two movies. Right? Dude, I never would have right. thought that we would have got Spider Man in these movies. That to me has that's been true. the bit yeah. out of yeah. these yeah. ten years. That's yeah. been the biggest. Are you serious? Moment for me. Yeah. And then when he showed up in Captain America Civil War and the fact that he got his own movie that's baked into their world, right. that's been the most incredible thing. Right, and right, you right. will see him in this trailer and he's good. What? Spoiler heck. Uh, Spider Man. What's, what's up, Naeem? I'm just curious. Is, they're still doing two movies, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're still going to get oh, Avengers 4. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're currently it. filming these. They filming these back to back. So four <laughs> is in production right yeah. now. Look, I got like, on to that, uh, Hector, like, it kind of gives us hope that there's a potential that maybe someday we will get like an AVX or House of M movie. Thank you, you know I mean? X Men, like, Fantastic Four. Like, it's Fantastic possible. Four, like, yep. Like, I, oh my gosh, so, like a Spider Man well, Fantastic Four crossover, like, dude. Yeah, exactly. So. All right, all right. Let's stop talking because I've waited. Let's start touching each other. Hours. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, watch the trailer. All right, here we go. <sighs> Shit. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people. Oh, nice. To see if we could become something more. They get me out! Oh! He's in the human So when they hear us, we could fight the battles. That they never could. I love that. Whoa. That they took that and they split that yeah. cool speech up. That's awesome. Oh. That Sylvester score is pretty great. Slow down. Yeah. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to yep. fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. I knew he stole that shit. There he is. Yes. Iron Spiders. Engage all defenses. And get this man a shield. (laughs) Get this man. Yeah, he's got the beard. (laughs) We're back. isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. And it happens. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Oh. Dang! Oh. <laughs> nice! Yes, awesome! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is that rope? Oh my! So good. Who the hell are you guys? 
Hey! Hey! <laughs> Holy shit. Patch has got his eye patch oh, back. Oh, no. yeah. That's on a whole different level. I <laughs> oh, I, I legit got goosebumps you, like Spider Man you got, did. Your spider yeah. sense got was like tingling, holy huh? shit. I will say oh this for God. me, Thanos looks amazing. Yeah. Yo, well, I know, yeah. I, we need I, to, I we need to play it again me. silently because I, I want to yeah, point just something keep... out to you guys. The animation when Josh Brolin Thanos goes through this portal, he lip? fucking sniffs the air <laughs> yes, like a badass. Uh-huh. He he sniffs the Earth's atmosphere like, all right, what's this piece of shit about? And then he kind of <laughs> smiles it fucking, it fucking in his lip. What is this dirty oh shit? What God. the Hulk's ass with Brett Banner is on the ground like, oh my God. He might have what from just happened? <laughs> yeah, can we stop right there? Matt, House of M. Go I back. Know, dude, House of M. It's there. It's right there. So... Again, vision. We know he's shape shift. Now he's in full, you know, saying human form, or unless Paul Bettany was like, "Hey, man, I'm not doing this." Well, I do wonder. I do wonder how much of the cast saw that Chris Hemsworth got to have his regular hair for one of his movies and went, yeah. like Scarlett Johansson's like, "I ain't dying shit." Yep. Paul Bettany's exactly. like, "You glue a thing to my head." You glue and that's a it. LED light right here. And if you look at all the Robert Downey Jr. scenes, he's like, "I'm wearing a hoodie." <laughs> Chris Evans like, I'm growing out my beard, I'm going to be shaving shit. I'm going to be real comfy. <laughs> We're all going to be real what's, comfy. What's so great. Comfy war. What's so great is that a version of this character of the Vision has also been here from the beginning. That's fucking Jarvis yes. evolved. Yes. If you think about it, and it's yeah. like the, the, yeah. to get to the point where he, his introduction was Age of Ultron, then we see the further relationship between him and Wanda a little bit, in teases of it. In Civil yeah. War, we get to part three, mm-hmm. which is like, yes, he would go human form. It's this great evolutionary thing it reminds me of bicentennial man with robin totally. williams right, it's right, like right, he becomes right, more yeah. human and it just Fantastic works so movie. thematically but of course i was also thinking paul bettany did not want to put the makeup on and it's great <laughs> well, yeah that's absolutely. great yeah. absolutely Whereas, like, poor dr strange he's like i gotta wear this damn thing <laughs> <laughs> everyone else is like know, we've right? been here three times hot ass cape <laughs> yeah, hot so he's doing a new hulk lost dude there was a lot of great stuff in this trailer i think what i got most out of it is I didn't think the Avengers shots could get any better until the last mm-hmm. shot of this trailer. Yeah. Where they were all running. I was in, like, Wakanda. in Wakanda. Yeah. And that's a great thing. That's not even all Shouts of them. out to Wakanda. They yeah. made the Black Panther stand out yeah. so yeah. much. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And then well, we have we've got the two Sherlocks in that scene right yep. there. Yeah. Well, yeah. and I think I think Wakanda being such a pivotal part, it seems like it's such a pivotal part of this movie. It seems like Captain America, yeah. Winter Soldier, you know, Black Widow, maybe they're defending a stone. The, the last thing that Thanos has to acquire. That's what I people think have been this saying. Movie's gonna be all, this movie's going to be all defending the stones. Because in the in the fight that we see later on. Look at this shit. Look I mean, at this shit. This right here. <laughs> there yeah. Yeah. And then look at his smile right there. So yeah. subtle. Oh, oh my God. In this part, I mean, if you look, we don't see Captain America. We don't see Winter Soldier. We don't see any of those characters. Yeah. Yeah. We, we obviously don't see Thor either. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see. I love man this. Is I love that. Yep. Yeah. But it's cool to see, you know, kind of what the outcome is in the, in the fallout of what's happened. I would you like know. to say, yeah, shit absolutely. Black Panther it's, having it's, the Uncle Beer. It's like so when cool. it's like when I read comics now and I see all these characters in in one frame, like in in an yeah. actual comic book. Yeah, splash page. It, it kind of like reminds me that like, oh shit, these characters are all there and here they are. It's the culmination of everything that's happening. Yeah, I just really <laughs> hope that Thanos lives like. He up to is, the hype. I, I legit want to be afraid of him. Yeah. I want him to show up on screen and I want his presence to be terrifying because I want him to kill everybody in the Marvel Universe. Well, the point. interesting thing, too, is like because there's going to be a fourth movie, you know, this movie could potentially end on the on on sort of the cliffhanger of mm-hmm. Thanos has now acquired all the gems right, or right. he still needs the one. Like, yeah, what's the what's the because the fourth movie. Yes, you can kill a lot of people in this third movie, but there, there needs to be a fourth movie. Yeah. Right, right, well, who right. do you bring in? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't think they'll just kill everybody off. Not everybody, but like. Tony Stark or Captain America right in this film and then they'll I think so to make an impact I think I think so I think it's a very real possibility it's like all uh, we've been seeing this the the photos uh, set photos everything we've been seeing is like a reminiscent Mm -hmm. they're having Mm -hmm. like it's Mm -hmm. it's a playback you know what I'm saying the things have happened before so it's not like up to date because remember you're seeing Thor with hair yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're seeing Thor with hair. You're seeing Tony Stark with, I believe it's the Black Sabbath shirt on. Mm-hmm. So these they're going are, back. They're yeah. going back. This isn't going, this is Avengers 4, and they're supposed to be going forward. They're going back. So evidently something happens. Right. Something Doctor happens. Strange might change something or the yeah. time gem. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. I want to say time the, the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet looks badass. Yeah, it does. Yes. It, does. it definitely looks different than what 
than how we've seen in some of the previous movies. Like it's got more details on it, and it's not as shiny. Remember how yeah. shiny it was At before? Age yeah. of Ultron was yeah. very shiny, super, super shiny. shiny. Yeah, now yeah. it's all it's dull, dull and gold. Yeah, I think I think so. The major <sighs> things I I would be willing to bet we're gonna get the scene from the uh, right. Infinity Gauntlet comic. Go, go Which back. One? I think Captain America dies in this movie. And then in the yeah. next movie, he comes back. Yeah. I'm, and he had in that scene where he walks up and he's the last one. Yeah. 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 I think That'd you're right. Awesome. I think you're right. We've, we've fantasized about that. Yeah. Quite a few yeah, times. Yeah. We talk about that. And like yeah. the music and what's going to happen. But, the look, my blanket. They're all wearing my blanket. Right. <laughs> yeah. And you can see Bucky and Cap in the back. And yeah. uh, one of the Dora Malache is right behind T'Challa. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's one of the Dora Malache. And Mubaka is right there. Yep. So clearly, it, be, it becomes a full on like defense. Right. So, so clearly, whatever yeah. happens in Black Panther, they settle some of it. Yeah. That's what, and that's kind of a well because he's still he's still hiding Bucky. Right. So we don't know how that goes in the Black Panther movie. Also, you could tell he's accepted as king, and it's a different suit again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As opposed to what we've seen in the Black Panther that's trail. True. Yeah. So yeah. again. I would like to say uh, the Reverend Dr. Chad with Bozeman will be <laughs> having a service. <laughs> <laughs> a service. We'll get to that later. Oh, with this one, too? Y- yes, Another my one. We'll okay. have a service on okay. this. But also, We're going to need six tickets this time. Yeah. We're going to need a little bit more plates at the table. But <laughs> I also like how this suit looks. It's a little bit more different in the detail mm-hmm. as opposed to the one we see at the end of the Black Panther trailer. Yeah. You know, this one's one, a little bit more sleek. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, not as, as vibra- detailed. It's not as yeah. and vibranium yeah. lined as the yeah. other one. And I want to point out the detail to the fact that Steve Rogers and Bucky Barnes are in the back Damn of this right. line. Right, right, right. Because yeah. it speaks to Marvel as a studio and as a brand putting the Black Panther and his cast and his world front and center. So easily could have had him standing next to Captain America. Right, right, right. So easily could play this story of these characters to where he says, get this man a shield. It's like, Cap's going to save us all. To- they're going to play him like the new Tony Stark. As as T'Challa is, yes. he is that level of intelligence. Yeah. He is that level of skills. He's like a Captain America style fighter, right? And right. he is an inspirational leader in the same way that Cap is. So the fact that they're putting him in the back behind a sort of Wakandan defense force, yeah. to me shows that Marvel Studios is putting a lot of faith on the Black Panther as a brand going forward. Yep. In and the same way they did for Spider Man Homecoming, bye bye, Mr. and yeah. Stark. to see Wakanda in the backdrop too. Yeah. 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 Very cool. I'm gonna take my blanket to this movie. You I, have, I have that that you blue blanket. I I went to South <laughs> Africa and I got a blanket like they have. And yeah, uh, yeah I'm gonna take my blanket. To I'm just I'm both just, Black Panther and uh, Infinity War. I'm just super excited because I I like but just kind of based on this trailer and we're seeing sort of the pieces of like how the Avengers sort of have to fight separately, two different battles. Mm-hmm. One is against Thanos with one group with Tony's team. The other one is against Thanos's like minions right, mm-hmm. right, right. with Black Captain Horn, America yeah. and Black Pan and Black Panther and the people mm-hmm. of Wakanda. So it's going to be interesting to see if that carries through all the way till the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. And then we have to wait till four mm-hmm. to actually see both teams unite with yeah. Captain Marvel. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. You know, yep. to then coming try back to take from the nineties. Yeah, yeah. So I think yeah. that's also yeah. something that's anything in there in here that we didn't see. That I mean, granted, there's probably more of a teaser. There's going to be another trailer for sure before the movie comes. Anything in here we didn't see that we wish we had. Yeah, not I mean, Captain Marvel. There's no Captain Marvel in this. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right. Uh, like, what kind of what were the differences though from this for the Comic Con trailer? Yeah, good question, oh, Matt. Yeah, that is a good question. Um, I know there was stuff so, that was taken out. Uh, Thanos there, doesn't. There, Thanos doesn't throw a moon. There was a what? lot more. <laughs> <laughs> there, a lot more of actually. Moons a moon and throws it at the Avengers. Uh, you also see um, Thanos. Physically con- uh, having more of a physical fight with Iron Man. Yeah, he's crushing oh, his okay. head. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like and, uh, pops it? Like kills like, Does he pop it? Ooh. Now, Ooh. Now, what a shot. End, when you see the Guardians, do you think that will be at the end of the film? Or you think- no. Well, in the, in the other trailer, it's like in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like, okay. I, I feel like it's, uh, a lot of this is going to be, you know, a lot of this is only like the first half. You know, I think they do a good job with these trailers of, uh, of showing, you know, not not too much lately like yeah, yeah mm-hmm. because the the way the comic con trailer starts is with the guardians in space thor crashes into the into their windshield yes they bring him on board and then they revive him and then he's sort of they're, they're trying to find their way back to earth mm-hmm. so i have a feeling that's going to be pretty early on in the movie also it should be noted that in the comic con version of this trailer thor has both eyes Ooh. so they definitely oh, kept that they definitely kept that hidden 
Uh, from Tanette's Spoil Ragnarok, Spoil Ragnarok, Ragnarok yeah. which I was curious about because you know all that stuff from Vanity Fair came out, mm-hmm. and we had we had Captain America without the beard in the Winter Soldier suit. We had yeah, Thor, but without the eye. How patch. much of that Vanity Fair photo shoot can you take? Is like this is what the Marvel Cinematic right, Universe right, right. is. Spider Man had the wires on. It's like it's like, it's like no, I you know, know that, but I, I figured you know if you're sure. gonna advertise the movie, you would kind of be. You portray them as they are in the film, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. I don't know. Maybe that teases something. So may, you know what? Now that I'm thinking know. about it, maybe, maybe in the same way that Avengers: Age of Ultron, the trailer came out, and at that end final shot, Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch were there, but in the trailer they weren't because right. they didn't want to spoil it. I bet you there's probably shots in this trailer that need more characters, but we don't know those probably. characters yet oh, because well, they don't want to spoil War, it when they're running yeah. each other. Yeah, running no each Spidey. Other the airport, no Spidey. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep. you don't see Ant Man yeah. either. Yep. No, exactly. Yeah. So there's, you didn't see him here. There you didn't see no Wasp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of characters we still have mm. yet to see. Yeah. There's a lot that they still have kept. But again, we're going to get, what, two more trailers possibly? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's the only oh, thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not thinking about this more as a teaser. A uh, friend of ours, Lon Harris, yeah. uh, wrote a tweet that I didn't disagree with, but looking at this more as a trailer, as he said, like, he, what he said was he was like, he's like, I like the trailer, but it, there was nothing in it because, of course, you're going to see shots of team and action right. he goes it, it right. didn't feel like until the guardians bit at the end there were character things except yeah. for get this man a shield and then he goes mm-hmm. i kind of wanted that and i was like i think this because this is a teaser mm-hmm. we'll probably get mm-hmm. more for lack of a better term character line totally. moments right. yeah totally. and because in the comic con trailer. more trailers in the comic con footage uh there were apparently more of an exchange between peter parker and tony stark yes mm-hmm. it's, where, it's just really him saying it's just peter parker being on the ground beat up yeah and him having the mask off saying i'm sorry tony sure yeah. Yeah. sure but I agree with the fact that this is a this is a brilliant teaser because it does two things. It sets up the tone of what the movie is, the mm-hmm. stakes, right? The second thing is it's just a victory lap for Marvel yep. going, look at how many fucking characters we've made <laughs> that you care about when we show you and these characters you and just show you them and that's yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah. you care about them yeah. because yeah. of all of the work we put into doing movies all the way from Iron Man 1 through this, mm-hmm. that this is just victory lap. Look at these characters. Yeah. The next trailer will be more story plot. The next right. the no, next trailer will be remember, more... We've, yeah. we've kind of noticed this trend in the past ones. Yeah. The first one is sort of a general get everybody excited. Second one might be a villain-focused trailer or it might be a, yeah. a character-more-focused yeah. trailer. And then the <clears> third one's generally kind of the weakest trailer of the bunch. You usually try to yeah. be a little bit of emphasis, emphasis on story. Yeah. And then usually at the end, they'll, they'll, they'll tease something, some like shit, some big yeah. twist like, Civil War, it was Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ragnarok, it was Surter. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wonder. So we'll probably do something. I like think that. we'll probably see more of the Black Order. Yes, is there, absolutely. Because there, there were like different photos that have le- leaked out with Proxima Midnight mm-hmm. and certain mm-hmm. things. So I think mm-hmm. we'll, well they have the statues on display at D twenty three. Right. Yeah. So I think yeah. we'll see more of them in the trailer. The totally. next trailer, probably. Agreed. We'll see Adam Warlock in one of the trailers. Or is no, no, that's Guardians, it's gonna three. Be a Guardians three thing, yeah, Matt. I think it's going to yeah. be a yeah. keep yeah. asking questions. Do you guys think we're going to see the Netflix characters? Yes. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, yes. I don't think I'm. I'm with Cameron. I don't think so. I, 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 I want to. I. I, I want I, to. I don't think I so. Like a little cameo, like if something's on the news. That's, that's exactly how it is. They just they just take a shot of him, and then was, that, that's, that's all they need. Really. I think I could see Coulson. I don't see anybody else showing up. I totally. Oh, that'd be that'd be a well, nice like return for. Coulson. I would like it, but I don't see it happening. But they were saying, but the Russos have said that there are some surprises that we don't know. And yeah. those are the only surprises available yeah. that are sure. still left. It's like if they bring back Liv Tyler, that's not going to surprise me. I'll be like, oh, cool, it's Liv Tyler from The Incredible Hulk. Right, that yeah. But if they, have, if they have footage where they cut to a church and bandaged up Matt Murdock is watching the news as this shit's going down, it's going to get a standing O. They cut to Luke Cage and Jessica Jones like seeing the news unfold, like, what's going on? And just a quick sweet Christmas. And cut away. That'd be... It will bring amazing. the house down. And yeah. it's a thing where we're not going to see in a trailer. And it's the only reason I feel like it might happen is because this is the ultimate Disney slash Marvel Studios being able to say, look at what we've done by allowing certain TV shows to exist in our continuity, mm-hmm. allowing it. We can do this. And unfortunately, Warner Brothers can't. Mm-hmm. This is the ultimate sort of fuck you to a studio that like, a lot of people will say you should have had Grant Gustin as the Flash. You should have had Stephen Amell should have been I- yeah. as Green Arrow in yeah, Justice definitely. League. Whether you agree or disagree with that, this whole notion of this massive franchise with TV and movie all combining and tie yeah. in comic books and shit like that. It's such a it's such a huge endeavor. And it so far has been mostly successful that this is just, that would to me it would be another piece of the victory lap of like look what we can do if we want like that was like such a big you know? deal with Coulson for me when Coulson like appeared was in, in Agents of Shield yeah. like, that was a big freaking deal I, he's a movie character yeah exactly I, Sam Jackson was in the pilot we had Lady yes. Sif in that yep. we had yep. you know yeah. little things here and there that that stuff was great and again it's no matter how much the movie people hate the TV people I think that this could be the one instance where they were just like we're gonna put our shit aside we're gonna borrow these movie people for a cameo. Mm-hmm. 
and to plug it in there for a shot just because we can. Just because we can. I feel like that's the that's only how they reason. set it up. I mean, why I I, I don't I want a story thread. I just want a cameo. That these universes are all combined. Why would they say that they're combined? Maybe to give them an opportunity. But I'm still with Cameron. I still think that we are have a very slim chance of seeing them. Yeah. I just think we I, I think we have to to have the number of heroes and characters that they they keep giving us mm -hmm. because they said total what 72 74 something that's, crazy something like that. crazy that's mm -hmm. not that number without those guys sure. uh, even like I, see said, that. I see that even if it's something minimal with the defenders mm -hmm. not, they, it could be what you said Hector it could be them fighting it it's, could, it's, listen as far as they know Danny Jessica and Luke are New Yorkers yeah. that they cut to to get a reaction shot we would freak out. Regular people are like, oh, New Yorkers are experiencing right. That's we all see, it would be. Sure. That's all we would need to see. Yeah. You know, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., somehow, one of, you know, they're on, they're on where they're at. And put some agents in there, man. Put yeah. Fitz and Simmons working put on some shit. Have Coulson come. Put Agent May in there. Even bring in Daisy. Yeah. Do what you do with that. But again, I think we're going to get something. It, it's not going to be long standing. Mm -hmm. Here's the next big question, though. Because of all that, what do we all think as the runtime? For this, uh, two hours forty minutes. Two forty. I'm clocking it in at like two one, and a half, two forty. That and the, the fourth one probably their Sorry. longest movie. Well, I mean, Thor Ragnarok was pretty long, and that was one character. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking two forty. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a long. I think it'll this is a lot. It. This is a lot of story to tell. Mm -hmm. A lot of story. And it, it's it's a lot of story, but it's also like just the fact of them cutting to all these different characters. Yeah. Even if you spend two minutes with a set of characters, that's still like, yeah, that's, that's nice. going to add up because yeah. there's yeah. just so many yeah. characters. This thing is going to move, but it'll be two hours Plus and they've been minutes. shooting. They, they are literally shooting these two movies all year. Yeah. yeah. It's nonstop. They just, they like took a little bit of a break between three and four. Mm -hmm. Within weeks, they were back at it. And they're going to be shooting this, I'm assuming, until this one, probably, well, probably till the... Yeah, maybe till this movie comes out. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Karen, they have a full Karen year. Gillen just celebrated her 30th birthday after she did a press junket in Hawaii for Jumanji, was in an airport asleep, and then she, she was like, that was my 30th birthday. I'm going back to Atlanta to keep filming Avengers 4. Like, yeah. it, they, it is nonstop right yeah. now. Absolutely. They're all doing they're Lord, it. All they're Lord of the Rings in it. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. another person we didn't, see. We, didn't see. we didn't see Nebula in this yep. trailer. Uh -huh. We didn't see any of the uh, Ravagers because we don't know if they'll... Or the new or the old original Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Remember that original set of the oh, Guardians? Shit, mm -hmm. I just forgot about that. So, right. So, Sam, you got that original set of the Guardians. <laughs> you got, hey, you got I'm here to take out Thanos. That's, that's, that's what I'm wondering. Oh, no, no problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm wondering like, if they're going to bring the Guardians at the end because they're getting devastated on Earth. They'll bring them in the end as well as other uh, Guardians as well. Like, mm -hmm. Thor looks like he's got shit in him already. He's like, all right. Well, yeah. according yeah. to, like I said, according to the Comic Con trailer, they catch up. So they're flying through space, the Guardians are, and Thor lands on the windshield. Yeah. So that's where that interaction happens. Yeah. Right. So. And the after credit scene of Ragnarok, that ship, is that not Thanos' ship? That's Thanos', that's Thanos, Thanos, Thanos ship. He, yeah. Will, yeah. he will wipe out the Asgardians slash broker a deal with Loki. Maybe Loki spares the Asgardians for the Tesseract. Mm -hmm. So he gets, because he has the blue mm -hmm. rock. Yeah. yeah. So we don't know what happens to the Asgardians, but they will interact. Thor gets thrown to the Guardians. Hulk, who was on the ship, gets thrown to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Right. Yeah. Where the That's two where, he falls where the two Sherlocks see him. Yeah. He falls through. And then he gets up, he puts his suit on, and then Tony Stark shows up. There's a lot happening in wow. this movie. Oh my god. Holy crap. That's, and that's that's my only my, I'm very excited. Dude. I will say just blew a fuse. my own I, my only I will say concern. Is my favorite Marvel movies are the ones where plot is not a big deal mm -hmm. and it's more about the characters doing yeah, right, character right, stuff right. and the marvel movies that tend to get that hurt a little bit when i go back and rewatch them are the ones that are like very plotty yeah. with yeah, some yeah, fun yeah. character moments age of ultron yeah age of ultron even like and i think it's a very good movie but even captain america civil war Doctor goes Strange. goes down just a bit compared to winter soldier where winter yeah. soldier had a plot mm -hmm. but it was also the emotions of those characters yeah. and all yeah. this other stuff as opposed yep. to like we're setting up 18 30 40 things in the first half hour, so you can go, okay, what do we follow? Yeah. So that's my only concern, is that will this be one of those Marvel movies that has so much plot mm -hmm. that you're like, man, that was fun. Then you watch it a second time, you're like, oh, it's dipping a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. As opposed to some of the ones where you're like, I liked it I more. Mean, like, Guardians is really not plotty. Like, no, that's kind of what makes no. the Guardians movie so rewatchable and fun, is you're like, man, I love these little pocket moments of the character, these characters right, interacting. Right. Um, and so that's honestly my hope, is that, yeah, the movie just opens a, with that's like that's a legit concern. Yeah, yeah. My, my hope is that that movie just opens with like 
Thor landed on the shield. They're like, what happened? He's like, we need to get to Earth. <laughs> just like that fucking, and then Spider-Man's on the thing, and the move, just start. Just get yeah, to just it. Go, just just like, go. Everybody's I don't need dying. 40, I don't need 45 minutes. Let's yeah. just, if they were like, the runtime of this movie is an hour and a half, I'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thanos is showing up. That means as soon as the credits start, it's going yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as the credits right start, the, the portal opens, and you know, you Thanos see that, walks yeah. through. You know how you see that opening little Marvel thing, that Marvel sequence? Yeah. As soon as that, as soon as Captain America comes up, and Thanos is already in, attacking. Yeah. Thanos is just whooping ass automatically. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, you may have just noticed that there was a really weird edit in this video. I was freaking out. That's because our computer just crashed, <laughs> and we thought Darn. we lost everything, which would have been the most unfortunate reaction of 2017 for us. Thankfully, it's not. Yeah, thank God. Thank yeah. fucking God. Because what I would, would have been worse, this. losing this or losing uh, Last Jedi? This, this. probably. <laughs> probably this. Probably this. Probably Even this. though I will say well, that, last, those comments that, that Last Jedi trailer did really, really well, so yeah. thank you guys for that. Um, but in closing, let's give our final thoughts of what we thought about this trailer. Hector. This shit was bananas. B a n a n a s. Augustine, I cannot fucking wait for this movie. Matt, tears will be had. Like tears. I'm positive, tears are gonna be. Yeah. Had. Oh yeah. I I'm almost stuck, teared up a little bit. Me too. Adam, yeah. Naeem, I can't wait. Let's do this. <laughs> I'll acquiesce the camera. That's the best. Let's do this. <laughs> Jumps out of a plane. I know. Right? Parachute. Let's do this. <laughs> Bodhi, uh, the, the the Bodhi of Hyper RPG back let's here. Let's do <laughs> this. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I'm pumped as hell. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh, <sighs> sir, I just like to say first and foremost, I want to give honor to God, the pastor, the oh, Reverend Doctor Chadwick Boseman, <laughs> Honorary Deacon Chris Evans. <laughs> Missionary Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Mother Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Brother Paul Bettany. Mm -hmm. All of the cast of the Avengers that show forth on that. Mm -hmm. And that purple demon Satan that looks like me in a gym selfie. <laughs> Josh Brolin God. I'd like to say the man looked like a testicle that had been working out, Father. <laughs> the man looked like a couch cushion that had been done up in a makeup chair. Jesus, well, we're going to say how I feel about the movie, Lord. I feel that for two hours and 45 minutes, I'm going to be holding my pee. I feel for two hours and 45 minutes, I finally won't be looking at my phone, Lord. I feel for two hours and 45 minutes, I will feel the goodness of not paying for a goddamn ticket because I'm getting this premiere somehow. I feel that Chadwick Boseman's beard should be represented by every black man across America, Lord. The hell, the nappy natural hell that the Black Panther possesses. It is a skill as a black man to have natural naps. You call it kinks, we call it naps, Lord. That brother knows about the naps, okay? The naps are a thing that your mother would make you do, Father God. Also, I would like to say that we need more Dora Malashe. We need to see black women whipping asses, okay? Mm -hmm. Kick mm -hmm. Bucky in the dick just because he's in Wakanda, Father. Do you have something to say, my brother? No. Plates at the table for all of the non-black people. And let me say something since we are watching this after Thanksgiving. If if another one of you mothers have cap green bean casserole at a dinner and don't have macaroni and cheese as Jesus, Ooh. it's going to be problems, okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. It's a sin. It's a <laughs> <laughs> it's the reason you should not have macaroni and cheese. That but, went real but, left field. But back to the Avengers <laughs> Infinity War, I want to say that I would finally like to see Vision and the Scarlet Witch have the beast with two backs be performed, okay? Oh. I want to see cyborg magic sex happen, and I will play my Justin Timberlake CD, and that's all I got. <laughs> How would you feel? <laughs> I'm sorry you have to go after that, Cameron. No, I already went. How would you feel about being called nappy name <laughs> <laughs> you we got to you you cut this off before it gets way to too weird at him of the youtube that he should not have he should change his twitter handle to nappy name <laughs> I, I want all the credit lord I want the credit, like credit I can't get because mine's is a 420. And that's a good credit for the weed, but a bad credit. <laughs> <for the weed. laughs>
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> leave your comments down below. Let us know what you thought about this I first teaser trailer for Avengers Infinity War, and we'll see you in the next reaction. Woo!